I got Chinese carry out for lunch today. First time in a long time. This was my fortune. So, don't let me down, guys. I felt like Vita was a challenge last year, and it was especially a challenge because I was so busy when doing Vita last year. I was getting just as little sleep, but I had more reason for it. But I feel wiped out a lot earlier in Vita this year, and I do not feel the same sense of motivation. Like, I'm coming home thinking, oh, I've got to make a video. I don't want to make a video. And last year, it was like I would be excited about it and think about it all day long. Oh, I can talk about this topic, and it's just different. So today, I was thinking about social networking and appropriateness of behavior. Right now we're in a political season in the U.S. and it's already heated, but it's going to get really heated. And I learned my lesson last time about making any kind of political statements online. I kind of got drawn into the fray because I feel like I'm a minority among all of my friends, or at least the most vocal people of my friends. And I got tired of hearing the bashing of people with my ideology. And I jumped into the fray to just try and even and balance it out. I don't think that was such a good idea in the end. So now I'm playing the observer. It's not just with politics, it's with personal stuff too, but it really comes to focus with politics for me. People will make statements on social networks like Facebook or Twitter or YouTube that they would not think of making to a person face to face. But because you're separated by this sense of distance and almost anonymity behind a screen, you're putting all kinds of stuff out there. What's really disheartening to me is I will see condescension about, I don't know who would vote for this guy, or anyone who thinks such and such is such and such is stupid. Uh, yeah, I, I happen to think that, and I don't think I'm stupid. And you really are making a statement without even trying to understand where I'm coming from. It's really wrong to be rude and condescending when expressing your point of view and not understanding, okay, we're coming from different places, we have coming, we're coming from different ideologies, and that's understandable, so we're going to disagree. But do you really have to put someone down? I just hate the disrespect. And there are people who approach issues from a standpoint of blatant disrespect. There's no, no cause for that. That's, that really gets to me. And we get disgusted with political ads and certain candidates will end up leaving a bad impression on us because they get to mudslinging in their campaigns and we claim to be disgusted with it while we go on Facebook or Twitter and send out a broadcast message to we don't really know who all putting down anyone that has a certain point of view. Just, I find that hypocritical. I've made my mistakes. I learned my lesson. Don't get into politics on Facebook. Don't get into politics. I know it's tempting. It's really tempting when people are throwing things in your face all the time. Stuff that you don't believe in or they're being condescending towards your point of view. It's really tempting to jump in the fray and defend yourself. But it's not good because you end up saying things that can be pretty hurtful to people that in real life you would not dream of saying that. You would approach the conversation in a completely different way. So I wonder, I guess my question to you is whenever you go to post anything, do you ever give a thought whenever you're putting anything out there? Would I say this to a person in person? It could be political in nature, it could be about your beliefs, it could be about your personal life or what you're going through, emotional stuff. That happens quite a bit where people post really intimate details and it's too much information. Or do you just want to put your point of view out there? Which is your way? I definitely have strong feelings about what's the right way, but I have those strong feelings from going about it in what I feel is the wrong way. <laughs> no hate here, but it just, it's been on my mind and I wanted to talk about it, dang it. I'm sorry to get so serious today. Woo! I'll be back to my frivolous self tomorrow. Bye guys.